in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a scenery in powerpoint as you can see here the sun is setting and then i have put some kind of a layers of mountains of you can see here the dark shades here and then it becomes more lighter and some cloud effect and if you want you can make it animated also something like this also you can make it or if you want we can give some different colors also or up to your uh, color choice selection you can make it any color so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide zoom out a little bit maybe 60 percent then go to insert shapes from the line select the last one which is the freeform scribble draw the mountains you can see here i'm just dragging this one something like this you can make it any shape as you like and then make it outside of the slide area not a problem later on we can delete it and then i'm going to attach the point something like this you can see here just attach it and then shape outline make it no outline you can see here we have added one i'm going to add one more for that go to insert shapes again select the same scribble so now i'm going to add a little bit something like this and then let me just make it down and make it up and make sure that it is overlapping the first one because that has to go behind this one and then again i'm just going to attach it to the first one you can see here then shape outline make it again no outline and we can give some different colors send this to back and we can change the color later on so i'm just going to add four or five different layers like this now i'm going to add the third layer go to insert again select the same scribble you can see here and this one i'm going to draw only halfway through you can see here I'm just bringing in this uh, down something like this and again I'm just going to attach it again shape outline make it no outline shape fill give some different colors and send this to back then go to insert shapes again let me just add one more you can see here and then this is also I'm just going to bring it and then attach it this color i'm going to maybe giving this color send this to back shape outline make it no outline and then the last layer i'm going to add it the same thing so again you can see here let me just take it down and then attach it again giving some different color shape outline no outline and then send this to back so you can see here i have added the all the different uh, layers now it's time to delete the unwanted area which is going outside of the the slide area and then we can give some different color to it before cutting let me just make it somewhat transparent so i'm just going to select all the layers one by one you can see here right mouse click go to format object under fill increase the transparency so we know exactly how much we need to delete it let me just zoom out a little bit go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle touching the slide you can see here if you want you can make this also transparent shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to add five rectangles here so that for each one i'm going to cut it press ctrl d to duplicate it just add on top of the first one again ctrl d you can see here you just add it keep on adding this is the fourth i believe this is the fifth i think so i don't know i forgot the count but anyway so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d and bring it the other side also because we need to cut it the other side and then we need to cut only one thing in the bottom also so let me just select this hold the shift key select this one merge shape you can just say subtract 
I'm going to select the second layer again hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape again subtract it the third one subtract the fourth one subtract and the fifth one subtract I added one extra let me just delete this one you can see here I have just cut this one so I'm just going to select this and again the same process I'm going to follow select the second layer hold the shift key again so this one we don't need because it is not covering so let me just take this one again subtract this also I believe I need to subtract it you can see here and then the last one I need to subtract it you can see here I have subtracted all and one more pending is there which is the last one let me just add that one also and subtract it now I'm going to select all these shapes and make it zero transparent so you can see here it is perfectly aligning it is going somewhat here and there doesn't matter now it's time to add the actual colors any color of your choice you can choose it for example I'm going to choose purple uh, go to the format merge shapes I can go to even more fill colors and I can just go and select any purple color here or if you want you can just go and make it more darker or lighter also whichever color you feel you can just choose it so I already choose some colors here dark purple can you see here then again here I can make it somewhat light purple you can see here and then I can make it more lighter I can make maybe this one then I'm going to make it more lighter you can see here then I can make it kind of a more this one so you can see here I have just given some different uh, color shades the more you go uh, behind the it should be more lighter colors the front should be more darker colors okay and if you want you can give some gradient also for example I want to use some gradient color here I'll just select this gradient color so I'm going to use two stops you can see here one stop I'm going to use the darker color maybe this color you can see here the other one also I'm going to select the same thing but go to the color more colors I can increase the shading here or reduce the shading you can see here some shadow of some a gradient fill I have added here so similarly you can add something for this also if you want you can just make it a more kind of a gradient here and I'm going to type radial select radial direction I can maybe I can just select something this one and then here I can give somewhat lighter color you can see here and here again I'm going to give some darker color and here also some darker color this is more lighter let me just make it somewhat darker so you can see here it's kind of a different color shading I have used so likewise you can just use any color of your choice so even for this also you can give some uh, different color uh, example like this or you can make it more uh, lighter also or you can give two colors again the gradient colors let me just remove this one I'm going to use somewhat lighter color something like this also you can think of uh, doing maybe linear and I will just select this one maybe I'll go to somewhat darker color so you can see here you can add as many colors and then here I'm going to use some background again for the background let me just make use of a pink or I can use a gradient color also here so gradient color I'm going to use one pink and uh, this also uh, is kind of not a pink it's a rose color maybe I'm going to give somewhat darker here you can see here somewhat darker some light and some dark color let me just make it more darker also so you can see here 
and once this is done i can add the sun go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key make it a perfect circle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give white and then you can go to effects under soft edges you can just increase the soft edges and then just send this to back you can see here the sun is setting so here uh, I have not used a more uh, colorful here if you want you can make it green also or light uh, blue also some different different colors also you can use it so here it's more of a purple you can reduce the purple maybe you can just go here and give more darker color of the purple I can increase the size you can see here so it's becoming more darker so it's lighter so you can think of uh, selecting different different color combinations uh, for this one and if you want you can just add some uh, clouds effect also to add the clouds I can go to insert shapes select the rounded corners rectangle make it fully rounded shape outline make it no outline shape will make it white I can reduce the size and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape make any oval shape you can see here so that it looks like a cloud again control D so something like this then I'm just going to select all go to format merge shape I can just say union you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and you can put it here or you want you can give a gradient color gradient color I'm going to use one color which is this color the other color I'm going to use a white color you can see here this color I'm going to make it complete transparent let me just move it and this one also I'm going to make somewhat transparent so like this control D you can use some cloud effect that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye